Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can save a project versus how you can export project in VSTC free video editor. So this is actually not so important, but it is also something that I completely cannot ignore because we all have exported project multiple times, but the part of saving project sometimes may not be clear. So for that purposes, I'm making this video. And um, first of all, as you can see, my editor is completely blank. So what I would really like to do is I would like to create three scenes. Currently, there is just one scene right here. And uh, so let me just go to view and let me just click on Project Explorer. And um, that's it. Now let me just quickly add another scene. And again, let me just add another scene. Now the reason I added three scenes to my project is because why do you want to save a project? That's the main question. And the answer to that is if you have created a template and you want to save that template, that's when you kind of save your project for future um, future use or if you have if you are working on a big project and it's not possible to do all the editing stuff in one single day so you kind of save the project and then you you know come back again tomorrow and st start the editing where you left off yesterday so these are the main reasons why you kind of want to save the project and uh, i would show you um as I created three different scenes. So let's say in scene zero, I upload one demo video. So I've downloaded two demo videos. So this is my first demo video called intro. So let me just upload that in scene zero. All right. And um, suppose you're creating a template and in scene zero, you put your introduction which will be common in all your videos and uh, in let me just now click on scene 2 and let me just import my second demo video which is the exit video and this will also be common in all your videos so the intro and the exit is remains common throughout all your videos and uh, so you put the intro in scene 0 and you put the exit in scene 2 and in scene 1 here you can import your main footage and do all the editing stuff and finally export the project. So this is how the whole template framework works. All right. So you you kind of save the things which are common or which will be common in all your videos and um, you leave one scene where you will import your footage and do all the editing stuff. So this is the template framework. The second is if you're as I said if you're working on a big project and it's not possible to do all the editing stuff in one single day so in that case what you really do is suppose let me just import a demo footage um, in scene one so as you all know I have my demo video right here so let me just uh, import that in the editor now let me just go to project let me just click on save project and uh, as you can see the uh, extension of vsdc files when you save the project is dot vproj and uh, you simply click on save just a second remove the um, question mark remove the question mark that's it now simply click on save and my project is saved now so if i close the um, editor if i close the editor and if i go to my folder where uh, my project is saved so generally the project is saved in the documents folder and inside documents you will find the um, so go to the documents folder and inside documents you will find the flash integro and inside flash integro you will find video editor 
and here your projects will be saved so now if i just click on this file and press enter on my keyboard my project will get open right as i you know uh, saved it when i before i close my editor so this is how you can actually save your project and um, you know op open it again in the future for editing further um, so this is one aspect of saving project now the second thing is um, is about saving the project as a, a package so let me just first of all let's just wait for the editor to open up and then i will show you that stuff of saving the project as a package uh, which is also pretty important because suppose you are editing something in one pc and uh, you want you know you want to continue editing or you want to continue editing in some another pc so in that case how are you going to uh, you know bring the project so that's when you kind of pack the project and transfer it to your another pc so let me just first of all quickly click on this and uh, and as you can see as you can see my project is opened right where i closed it um and all the things are pretty much the same so we have scene zero where i have the intro and then we have scene zero where i have the intro we have scene one where i had my demo video and finally this is scene two where i had the exit so this is how you kind of save the project and then kind of open it and now what i was saying is okay one another thing which i want to talk about is when you save the project the resources which you use inside the project so for example this demo video which i used this demo video was present in the downloads folder all right and uh, if when you save the project um and the resources which you use inside the project must be there where it was previously so right now this video is present in my downloads folder and so when i kind of open the project once again it is showing right here but if i change the location of this video from downloads folder to some another folder here i will get an error message saying that the file could not be found so you need to keep that in mind that um, whenever you kind of save the project the resources which you use inside the project any video image their location must be the same um, you do not change the location of those resources so if you change the location of those resources um, the editor will throw you an error saying that the file could not be found so that is one thing which you need to keep in mind and yes the another thing which i was talking previously was the uh, this option right here which says pack project so you use this option when you kind of um, when you want to transfer your project from one pc to another pc all right so um, a lot of times what happens is you're editing in one pc and now you kind of bought a new pc and or you bought a new laptop so in that case what you do is you kind of click on pack project and uh, then you kind of simply transfer that file to your new pc and the file will you know uh, when you kind of open that project in that new pc everything will be same as it is so that's the another difference between save project and pack project in save project resources must be there where it was um, when you kind of use them in the project but when you kind of pack project the um, what happens is a copy of resources is taken and uh, that's why when you kind of uh, you know open the project in another pc everything is as it is including the resources because when you kind of pack project the whole copy of all the videos images uh, audio is taken and uh, that is another major difference so this was the second thing the third thing which i want to talk about is the auto save i actually made a separate video about auto save but uh, i want to cover that in this video as well so god forbid 
I hope that your editor don't does not crash when you are kind of editing it because a lot of times it has happened with me when I was kind of editing my videos the P, uh, PC just shut off or my laptop crashed and uh, so all my editing work kind of just just went away like that only so so that so keeping such unfortunate circumstances in mind it's always better to kind of uh, enable the auto save option so the auto save option will kind of um, you know enable um, it will auto save your work every 5 minutes 10 min minutes whatever duration you choose so to enable the auto save option go to options right here and uh, once you go to options you will f uh, this dialog will open up and go to saving options and inside saving options as you can see automatically save the project every so currently never is selected so click on this drop down list and choose any value as per your choice so if you want to save the project every 3 minutes so select 3 every 3 minutes or every 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 20 30 45 every hour so you got all these options choose your option wisely and your project will be automatically saved every 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 45 or even after an hour. It will kind of automatically, your work will automatically get saved. So please use this um, feature because it is extremely important. If you are working on a big project, it is very important that your work gets automatically saved because you will never can be sure about laptop or computer you know suddenly uh, crashing or something happening so it's always better to you know automatically save your work so these were the th three things which i wanted to talk about first of all about saving a project so we saw how you can save a project how you can pack project and the auto saving feature so these were the main things about saving a project mostly if you have a template and you have some common parts of your video like the intro and the exit you can most definitely um, you know kind of create that template and save your project and uh, reuse that template again and again so this was all about the saving project guys now the second option which we are seeing is exporting project which we all have done it if you are using the editor i'm pretty sure you all have exported project so we kind of go to export project and um, as you can see we have different exporting options so we got pc web iphone ipad android dvd and if you just scroll down your psp ps xbox blackberry and all these options available you choose any one as per your choice um, for pc you can you know export the project in avi format mpg format mov format wmv mkv and uh, if you want to if you are making the video for the web let's say for uh, youtube or instagram facebook twitter vimeo uh, you can select that option again as per your choice whatever you are making a video for so exporting project is pretty easy to understand even saving project is also pretty easy to understand but there were some aspects in the saving project which you must know um, so that's it guys that's all i wanted to share with you just a general overview about saving project and exporting project again as i said not so much important but definitely important it is important that you know you you cannot just simply brush it off you cannot ignore this thing it's really important that you understand these things when you are working on a project but anyway do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching